What was that? Hey, I'm Nathan Walters, music producer, recording artist, and former boy band member. Back in the day, I was in a boy band called Plus One. We signed to Atlantic Records, worked with mega producer David Foster, and sold over a million copies. These days, I'm producing for others and making music for film and TV commercials. When I'm not doing that, you'll find me here releasing my own music, reactions, and unique approaches to music production. All right, I'm going to dive in today and watch BTS Save Me, their official music video. I'm familiar with this song. But not the record, not the not the official recording. I've never heard that. Um, the first time I heard this song was when I did a reaction video to BTS uh, during the uh, what was it, Tiny Desk uh, performance, and uh, I heard this is one of their songs, and I heard it, and I thought, oh man, it's so catchy. It was it was one of my favorite. Um, if you want to check that video out, it's one of scroll back. It's one of the first. I think it's the second one I ever did, maybe third. Um, anyway, so this is Save Me. I, I want to hear what it sounds like uh, on the original, re actual recording, and then I'm gonna dive in like I do and look at the actual individual individual um, audio files, and uh, we'll see what it sounds like. We're gonna take a look at the kick and the bass and the drums and instruments and synths and their vocals. So stick around if you want to see that. Here we go. <laughs> Cool elements in here. Um, I'll save that for it later. I'm about to dive in and look at the tracks. I'll save that for later. Okay, this track goes uh, still. It. I don't know if it sounds dated or not. It's if this came out today, I think it would. It would still hold up. It's. It's pretty cool sounding. These synth sounds. I like that. Okay, here we go. Who's in the background? Yeah, it's cool. Oh, that was cool. That camera action when he put his hand up like that. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. It's like they're going in slow motion. Yeah, all right. I like this. That synth in the background. I hear some uh, delays going back and forth. Uh, when he says some things that they pan to the left, then the right. We'll focus on that later. <laughs> Little remix action. Is this all in one take? I didn't even notice that. I'm wondering if this, this music video is in one take. That's cool if it is. They look so much younger. I love that. I love that. Whatever they're saying in Korea, I know in Korean, give me your hands. Do, 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 you save me, save me. So cool. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is all one tape. Film, film, dude. No edits. Oh, that's a cool background. 
like that. There's a lot happening in this track. It's so cool. You know, th- these songs are, you, know, you guys know this. I'm just being reminded. It's like BTS, maybe K pop in general, but for me, BTS really um, it, like changed the structure of, of pop songs. You know, it's like I, I sat down, I wrote with a, a K a pop writer a couple years back, and we were writing for uh, an artist. I don't know, we were writing for any, any K pop bands. And uh, he, he was just saying, I was trying to do verse, chorus, second verse, chorus, bridge. Course, course, and done. You know, he was like, "No, no, 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 no. We don't do that." <laughs> and he's like, second verse, we're probably gonna go to a rap." You know, I was like, "What?" That was so foreign to me. Now it's so cool. I see. I, see, I get it. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, there, this looks like it's all one take. There might be some camera tricks, but how cool if they film this in one take. Nice. That was cool. I like that. All right, let's dive in. Let's check out these these files. What comes to mind? We, get, we gotta try to hear that, that uh, clock. That's cool. I love that. There's the clock. Uh, and you got these two tracks make up that piano sound. Oh, okay, maybe just this one. Cool. All right, and let's solo Jimin's vocal, one of my favorites. <laughs> Cool, there's a lot going on already in there. I mean, you hear the delay and the reverb kind of bouncing. It also feels like... Yeah, there's some re- there's some reverse kind of nuances happening, and I don't know if how that's happening. Yeah, that unlonely. I hear. Maybe I don't hear it backwards. I just hear a cool effect happening on lonely. I don't know if it's reverb, is bouncing off in a weird way, or did they? Here's a. I don't know. If, let me see if I'm gonna do this. I might deep dive on you guys real quick. Um, There's a really cool effect where you can take the vocal file where he's singing and then, and then you can, um, you can reverse, you can basically print, um, print meaning you can, (laughs) I'm going to dive in. I hope I'm not talking over your head. Basically you can turn that audio file, um, put some reverb on it. And then take that new track that you made that has the vocal and the reverb and reverse it, right? And then um, you can use elements of that in a way that uh, sounds really cool when you when you match it up at the right place in um, the track. So basically, you'll hear his normal voice. Alone. Just wanna be lonely. Just wanna be lonely. And it, I don't know if that's happening here, but it reminds me of a trick that could happen. Just wanna be lonely. And then maybe lonely, kind of the backwards lonely gets in there. I know I, I feel like I'm confusing you guys because I don't know if exactly if that's what's happening here, but it reminds me of that effect, which is really fun to do. Here we go. Let's keep going. Cool. You know, in class, I, I talk about this too, but I love it when you, they do the octave stretch. You get the low. And you got the. There might be three octaves happening here. You got this note, and then you got this note up here. And then you got a third one. Here and there, bouncing in and out. So there's three octaves here. It's just that... Oh, 
What was that? So when you hear some backgrounds uh, going, who is that? My my first thought is, is it Jimin? But now I know that uh, Jin can sing up there. It almost became like a little uh, synth pad of some sort, but made of vocals. Oh yeah, and there's that delay. No, no, no. If you're new to my channel, and you know I'm talking about delay and reverb real quick, I'll say what delay is. Delay is when you you speak a word, it's recorded. No. And um, you can add a little effect on there that repeats it. Na na na. You can make that be really short. Na 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 na. Fast or long. Na na or na na. You can you can make it do whatever. Here they chose it to go on the uh, the quarter the quarter the the quarter note. Let's go. Just the melody, no harmony. Now they brought in a harmony. Maybe, maybe uh, I don't know if I'm hearing things. Maybe I don't hear harmony. Now. There we do. I need your love before. Cool. So I like that, you know, when you don't have to do a harmony all the time. Na, 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 will you save me, save me, just the melody. And then later they brought in the harmony. I need your love before, for. It's cool. Just highlight certain phrases. Oh, and for. I love that. For, for. Let's hear that. Cool. Cool. I didn't. I didn't hear. I didn't notice all this. There's an ad lib. Save me, save me, or a harmony. However you want to look at it. Ad libs can also do sing harmony with a melody, but an ad lib, if you don't know. It's just somebody straying away from the main melody, but acting like a lead. Like, well, you know, stay it. instead of just doing the normal melody, they're kind of doing something different, freestyling, if you will. That's cool. Save, save me, be me. That's cool. I don't think they sang that. Save me, me, me. Um, on purpose. Looks like they they went save me. They probably did go save me, me, me. But they took one of those me's and repeated it, so it has that kind of stutter effect. And they and they cut off the end of the me. You can almost kind of see that. This right here is shorter me. That's their shorter me. Oh, sorry, I'm wrong. Well, yeah, they're both. So this is a me, and this is a me. It's cool that they made it more have this this stuttering effect. Remix. Cool. All right. Well, that's the vocals there. Let's uh, look a little bit at uh, other elements in the track. Let's see. What is this thing right here? Okay. It's just the synth. You can see even in the audio file that it's slowly building. It's getting bigger. All right. Opening up the synth. That's cool. You know, um, there's something called a filter, and not a filter that you use when you're taking a picture on Instagram. Uh, it's a uh, so this there's a sound, the keyboard sound or synth sound is doing its thing, and you can put an effect on there, which is a filter, and the filter takes away certain frequencies most of the time. In this situation, they're using it to take away the high frequencies. And um, so it almost sounds like this kind of effect. You're hearing all my frequencies right now, and I can kind of go like this, and now it mumbles. I'm kind of physically taking away some of the high frequencies by doing this. Well, you can do that with um, software or actually hardware that's built in the keyboard that can filter that down. And what they're doing is they're slowly turning that filter knob to open up and let all those high frequencies back. And you can see it happen here. 
The high frequencies are not there yet, but it's slowly being pulled away. Very slow. Right here is where they really start opening it up. That's when you hear it. And they're taking away some of the load. Makes it nice and bitey. Okay, let's let's pull in some of the drums with that. Let's see what that feels like. Oh wow. We got lots of stuff going on here. Cool. Let's pull the bass in. And there's more stuff. What's this? Oh, I, I kind of want to hear that by itself, those elements down there. Let's see. Okay, it's just more of that synth. Here's the track, no vocals. Cool. I want to find that. I want to hear that by itself, that little keyboard thing that happens every now and then. Right in here, maybe it's this one. Okay. It's kind of mixed together with some other synths. Yeah, that's cool. We can't we can't isolate it, but we can appreciate it. I love that. Bum bum bum. That synth. So pokey. I like that. All right, let's 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 listen to the vocals here. So you're hearing a repeat of his vocal. Am I right? I don't know what he's saying, but yeah, which part of that? Binga is in is in the left. Uh, ear. So that's that's kind of fun when you pan that back and forth. And just so that you know, I mean, I did this on a reaction bef before um, video. I'm going to zoom in here. Panning is, here's a channel here. So this channel, you can move the volume up and down, and that moves the volume, makes it louder, quieter. Or you can take this and pan the signal to one of the ears, or pan it to another ear, which is cool. And that's where they're getting that. So it has sugar. Is that sugar? Yeah, sugar. Okay. Yeah, so as as he those repeats, they're they're going like that real quick, and they're panning it over there, and then they're using uh, going like this, panning it over there. Um, so that's how they that's how they get that and control that. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, back to his vocals. That's cool. Background. Another remix happening. Chopping up some vocals and making them repeat like that. Sounds like another filter on top of it. Let me know if this is fun for you. I'm, I'm, I like listening to their vocals by themselves. <laughs> you can really hear those oohs in the background. <laughs> That was cool. Listen to that. So that's delay and they upped, they leveled, they, they put the reverb, the level of the reverb up higher there. And you can automate that where you tell the computer to do that at certain times. Oh, in headphones, that sounds so great. It just lets you, it just feels like it's big. If you feel, you hear the space that they're in. And it's also pumping, like the volume is kind of going like this, a little bit. So it's like not just reverb going, it's got, and there's a way you can do that by something called side chaining. Let's dive. That's what you're here for. Let's dive in. Side a side chain is you have that reverb signal happening, but you want it to go. 
So what they've done, um, they have another signal happening, probably a kick. Boom, boom, boom. And some plugins that make this effect, you can automate it to where it goes up and down. But a lot of times what will happen is you have a kick happening. Boom, boom. And um, you don't, you, you have no outputs on that kick, meaning the, the kick is happening, but you can't hear it. So it's put, it's making a signal and you send that signal to the channel that has the reverb on it. And so that reverb is going, ah, but as it's going, ah, you're, you're putting another thing called a compressor on here. And that compressor will, you're telling it every time, hey, compressor, every time you hear this kick happen, I want you to lower the volume of this reverb and get it out of the way. And that's what happens. So that kick's going, go, go. And so that ah, goes, ah. That's one way to do it. That's cool. Hear this ad -libs. Save me. Oh, he actually. Save me. Save me. Who is that? That sounds cool. He, so now, for me, I didn't notice. I didn't notice this the first time, but some of you may have you're like, "Hey, it's in the track. I've heard it many times." But for me, I'm really hearing more of the vocals now since they're solo. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, that's a good run. I can't even do it. Oh, that, that cuts real good. I'm not. I'm not the best ad libber. That's cool. I like how those vocals got a. Save me, save me. Ooh, I love that. Save me, save me. Wow. You hear that ad lib? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. I hope you hear that. I hear it really great in my headphones. Who is that? Oh man, that's like butter. That's cool. I'm hearing some left and right panning action. And you can even see it in the audio file. See how on this side, so there's two lines here. These two lines, one line is, is your left channel and the bottom one is your right. And so you can see how there's more signals happening on, on the right side, right here. Actually, in my headphones, okay, so maybe it's back the other way around. The bottom one's the left, top one is the right. And right now, I'm hearing all something in my, his vocal mainly in my left ear, and you can see it reflect here in the, in the um, wave file. And now, it's on my right. Cool to see that line up. And now it sounds like he's right here, right here in the middle. And you can see the wave files, the, the left and right channels are very even. And that's what that's what happens uh, with stereo. This is called stereo. Stereo is made up of left and right signals. And whenever you want that signal to sound like it's right in the middle, you put the same amount of volume on this side and on that side, and it gives the illusion that, oh, it's in the middle. That's how that works. <laughs> Ad living, that's cool. Same voice. <laughs> and so they uh, they brought up some more reverb there. Hear all that reverb on his vocal? That's cool. Alright. I've been looking just at the vocals, which is fun. Let's look at some other things here. Um, I don't know. Let's check out some drums. Just a classic kick. It's funny. 
play this. It's just a kick drum and watch them on the screen. Oh, can you, is it big enough here? Let's, let's do this. It's kind of funny. Okay, wait, here we go. Sounds funny. Okay, um, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, I want to hear the drums just by themselves real quick. All right. Well, the vocals were were my favorite part of looking in that track. Um, just because I, I love to, to hear those vocals isolated. If you like that too, let me know, and I'll do more of this. But thank you for for watching. Of course, I always say this in the comments. If there's any other bands or artists, doesn't have to be BTS. It doesn't even have to be K-pop necessarily. Whatever artists or bands you want me to dive into and do this style of reacting. Let me know. Put it in the comments. I'll read it. I'm making a long list. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out my BTS cover that I did. Um, I've got more in the works. I'm recording now. And I'm also taking requests. Let me know. And uh, I'll see you next time.